Today we have a kidney, and we're going to take a look at it, slice it open, see what it really looks like inside. Before we slice the inside though, let's take a look at the external features here. And what we see here in this complex of stuff is we see the renal artery and the renal vein right here. So it's two pretty good size openings. I don't know if you can see that or not, but these are pretty good size uh, tubes running in and out here because the kidney is a blood filtering unit. So it makes sense you'd have large inflow and outflow of blood. Also, we're going to have the ureter coming out here, and we're going to find that right here. So this is a much smaller tube because the urine coming out isn't nearly as uh, much as the blood flowing in and out. So smaller too. But this whole apparatus here is renal artery, renal vein, and ureter. So that's the external anatomy. And otherwise, it just looks like this sort of brownish structure. And this one's a little bit lumpy. It's been shrink-wrapped in a bag for a while. So it, it doesn't look quite as smooth as it would if we took it fresh out of, in this case, the pig. So what we're going to do now is we're going to slice it open. So I'm going to try to slice it in half here so that we can get an image that will be as close as possible to what we would see in the book. So it'll take just a minute here of slicing. And this is not incredibly exciting when we look inside here, so it's not nearly as good as the view in the book. But again, those kinds of things they would have worked very diligently for. What we can tell for sure here is we can talk about the renal cortex. That's this outer rim of tissue around the outer uh, part of the kidney there. That's the cortex. And if you recall, that's where we're going to find the nephrons. Uh, doing most of the filtering is up in there. And then we would have the calyces, and here we can get a little bit of an idea of the calyces. Let me go ahead and let me slice this a little bit more and see if we can make it a little more visible. Now that helps a little bit, takes some more tissue out of the way. So what we would have here, these white areas here would be the calyces where that urine is going to come down out of the nephrons and now in these calyces is going to start collecting together down here towards the renal pelvis. So what we would see down in here Down here we've got this opening starting to open up here. So it would be right in this area. And then it would drain into this uh, pocket here, which maybe you can see right there. And that pocket would then exit out through what we labeled just a minute ago as the ureter. So uh, down in here we would have that urine collecting from all over within the kidney. Up here we can see one of those major calyces right here, a little bit nicer. So all the for urine formation in this area would drain into this tube right here, and then that would end up down here in this renal pelvis. And then again, that drains out to the ureter. So there's not really a whole lot really nice and clear to see here. Uh, that's usually the way of it with kidneys. They don't look, on average, as nice as you would find in the books. But renal cortex, and then the medulla here where we find the renal pyramids and the calyces, formation of urine, tri trickle down the calyces to the pelvis, renal pelvis to the ureter, and then on down to the bladder. So that's going to wrap up the kidney for us here today. And again, it's not quite as exciting as we perhaps would have hoped, but that's about as good as it gets.